Have you become a victim of far-right ideology? Do you believe this election was rigged? Do you believe there's going to be a trucker strike? Do you believe that Black Lives Matter was funded by George Soros? Do you believe that there's going to be a one world government? Do you believe that FEMA camps are starting to be created? And that the government is trying to kill you? How is it that I know these things? It's because these are all ideologies. These are all ideas with no credible evidence. No facts whatsoever that these things are happening. How is it that you have fallen for far right ideologies? It's because you watch Fox News. You watch OOAN Network. You listen to all of Trump's tweets. You believe all the rhetoric that they say. You believe in the far right evangelical um, opinion. Even though most of their claims, almost all of their claims are false. You refuse to see facts and you refuse to see evidence for yourself. You have fallen victim to far right ideology. If this was not an ideology, I would not be able to repeat it. And so many people believe in the same thing. But you actually, if you think about it, you have zero evidence, strong evidence for any of this stuff happening. There's not going to be a one world order, e even though the world is global. Even though trade is global and most nations are globalist nations, they're not single national nations. There are nations that get their products and things from all over the world. So what do you do now that you know that you have fallen victim to far right ideology? Number one, you need to disconnect from social media because you're being brainwashed. Number two, you need to really look at the facts. Where is George Soros funding Black Lives Matters? Start finding the evidence. The farther you dig in, and I'm not telling you a video of a person saying that George Soros is doing it is not evidence. Try, try to find true evidence for your conspiracy theories and you're going to realize you're going to come up short. Because ideologies are just an idea. It's just a hunch. It's just something that Basically saying, oh, why are people, why is the waste management taking all our trash? They must want all our information. Why is it that they're taking all our trash? That means they must want something from us. See, that's how a conspiracy starts. It's just an idea. It's just a thought. It's just a hunch. But there's no evidence to back it up. There is no one world government. There's no elitist. There's no Illuminati. George Soros is not funding Black Lives Matter. For the most part, Black Lives Matter's protests have nothing to do with either Black Lives Matter or with uh, George Soros. Is there an Antifa? Yes, there is. Is it, but who is, who's the, key players and what does antifa mean antifa means anti-fascism which is like anti-communism so i don't know where you get these things where liberals are communist but most democrats or most people that vote a certain way 
they're not die-hard Democrats or they're not die-hard die Republicans. There is something called a far-left believer and a far-right believer. But there are people in between that don't give a fuck about politics. They don't give a shit about the president. They really do not see their lives threatened on a daily basis. They don't care about a new world order. They're not afraid of evolving. And they're not afraid of change. And at one point in your life, you got to look at yourself and think, how did I become brainwashed by racist evangelicals, racist right-wing media? How did this happen? And that answer, I don't know. How the hell did it happen? They tricked you. They tricked your mind into believing things without facts, without evidence. All they had to do was show you a video of some dude saying something or very little evidence that will not hold up in any court and you believed it. But in one of my videos I tell you there is no such thing as truth. There's no, there's no way a human being can comprehend truth because to look at all the facts and all the evidence you would have to see through the eyes of every person in the world before you can tell if something is true or false. So be careful with your ideologies. It does not make you a bad person to be wrong. It's not, it's not bad that you're wrong sometimes. We all make mistakes. We all fall victim to ideology. Because of media is trying to control us a little bit, trying to persuade us, and sometimes they get a little bit too good at persuading us. But what we don't realize is that we're actually getting manipulated and swayed back and forth just to retain our attention, just so they could make more money, which is capitalism. Capitalism right now on social media are banking on your attention. Because the more attention you give to a certain broadcast or to a certain network, they get paid for advertisement. It's not mind control. It's not, um, it's basically entertainment. They're distracting you. They're waving this little thing in front of you. And what the other network does, it waves a bigger thing in front of you. And then the other network says, well, they got a bigger thing. I got to wave an even bigger thing and something that explodes in front of you just to get your attention. Now, the media has been going so crazy that people actually believe what they say. But actually, about 100% of what you see on the media is a lie or a fabrication. Look up those words and see that you are actually being manipulated for your attention just so you can make someone more money. So the best advice for you is turn off your phones, turn off the news, turn off the evangelical rhetoric. Give yourself about a month or two months of silence. Enjoy your life. Have fun. Don't worry about what's going to happen. And just enjoy yourself. Because this is your life, and your life is being wasted on worrying, on being scared of eternal doom or being afraid of some bad thing that's going to happen. There's billions of things that can happen. We can get hit by a nuclear missile. An airplane could fall on you. A car could run into your, into your house and run you over. Someone could come into your house and shoot you up. You can get shot up in a school. You can get shot up in the freeway. You can get shot up in a church. There can be an explosion in a church. The list goes on and on of the potential bad things that can happen to you. But does it make sense to worry about it? If it happens, it happened and it's unfortunate. But don't waste your life 
getting caught up in someone else's ideologies. Hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully that makes you a little bit happier. Hopefully you realize and get free from someone else's manipulation and you could go back to enjoying yourself and talking to your family because I'm pretty sure your family missed you and they want to talk to you and your family probably loves you and so do your friends sweep all that shit under the rug they'll forgive you live your life go to a park or something go watch a movie hopefully this helps you out you're welcome and may God bless us all.